connection and how it's been going. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, the Queensland Police Service and uh, officers from the South Brisbane District have run Operation Treadstone. Uh, which is uh, commenced in the Easter school holidays, so on Friday the uh, 4th of April through until when school recommences. The idea is to try and uh, maintain some proactive patrols of schools in the district to try and uh, discourage people from trespassing, damaging property uh, and uh, those sorts of associated offences. I'd like to remind anybody that it is an offence to trespass in school grounds um, and that uh, police will take prosecutorial action if, uh, if we find anybody in school grounds and that so far since the beginning of the school holidays, police have conducted in excess of 360 proactive patrols of schools uh, in an effort to try and uh, deter uh, that, that kind of behaviour. Excellent, and as a result of those patrols, have you? do you feel that they are working, they are acting as that deterrent? I hope so. I, I like to think that um, uniform presence and um, it might deter any sort of potential uh, offenders if they see police uh, patrolling. Um, schools and, and uh, coming through schools and making sure that there isn't any suspicious behaviour in schools that that acts as a deterrent. What should our members of the public be looking for when they drive past a school? Any unusual behaviour or like, things like those? Yeah, anything that they, they think is suspicious, uh, they should call Police Link uh, or Crime Stoppers uh, on the 131 444 for Police Link or Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 and um, in terms of uh, uh, particularly at night, any lights, uh, any people walking through schools or loitering near schools. Uh, I'd encourage, even if, even if it turns out to be a legitimate reason, better for the police to come and see whether it was legitimate um, than not to call at all. Yeah. Uh, how long do, have you had these operations last year or during any other school breaks? We have had the operations in other school holidays, but um, obviously over the years we've noticed that holidays normally uh, lead to significant increases in damage and particular uh, arsons and, and offences like that at schools. So we've tried to be more proactive uh, during these holiday periods to increase patrols. Excellent. So is there, do you feel that it has been a reduction in, in delinquent behaviour? Well, so far, these, so far these holidays uh, we've only had one report of uh, damage of a school out at Sunny Bay someone threw a brick through a window um, but uh, it's been uh, it's been pretty good touch wood so far these holidays. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. And um, you, Aaron how do you feel that um, having this proactive approach do you think it's beneficial for the schools in your area? Yeah look I've got 12 uh, schools uh, across the Belimba electorate and uh, you know un unfortunately vandalism and graffiti and uh, theft and destruction uh, within the school properties during school holidays is a, is a big impact on not only the school community when they return but also uh, a cost to the taxpayer. So certainly any, uh, you know, uh, operations such as uh, Treadstone, uh, you know, again, um, creates that preventive uh, measure to hopefully uh, ensure that our schools remain uh, intact for uh, the start of the uh, next term. That's it, because I guess in a sense that it's not just property damage, but it also affects sort of, I guess, the morale of students coming back if they find their classrooms being damaged and that kind of thing? Sure. Look, you know, all, all uh, both teachers and uh, students and also their parents have a uh, close affiliation to the uh, classroom that they're in that year and also to the school. You know, it's their property and, uh, you know, often, uh, sadly, uh, sometimes uh, even, uh, you know, work that's been undertaken by the kids has been destroyed or, uh, you know, uh, thrown across the room when, uh, you know, something's been broken into, like a classroom. So, you know, it is a uh, it is a big impact on the school community and it's important that you know these people feel that this is like their second home because they spend a significant amount of their uh, childhood here and uh, that it needs to be protected. Um, for I guess for having the ongoing operations will you be continuing them in the June July holidays? Yeah, yes? yeah this will be something that will continue uh, throughout every holiday period from this point forward. Yeah. Alright well thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers.